final final score one nil Manchester City winning over Newcastle United. Uh, let's do our full time review of this match and end this stream. Of course, uh, it, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with Newcastle on the Newcastle side. You 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 yeah. go ahead and, and with the Manchester City. Of mm -hmm. course, Newcastle great great defense. You know you can't uh, really to keep City. It, with the amount of football that they displayed in the first half, at least, you know, it could have been more. And in the second half, they had a few chances. So the defensive end for Newcastle was was good. I mean, you can't complain about it, really. Yeah, I would agree. But you have to know how to be creative and in, in, in how to make better mm -hmm. passes. And knowing that City is a, a team that's most most likely going to control the game, you have to know and take care of the the, the chances that you have which are going to yeah. be limited. Isak didn't do that. Almiron didn't do that. You know, they just, Newcastle couldn't create. And uh, when they made change, changes in the second half, they were able to get something done. But what do you think as far as the a little bit. City? On the City side, it was a dominant performance all throughout, I think. You know, a lot of long balls, something different. I think that Newcastle probably expected City to try and play and that their style is to press and try and win the ball up high. But you saw Ederson just popping balls over to Holland, over to uh, Kyle Walker, over and over and over again that allowed City to get out. And so... Newcastle didn't know where they were, they, whether they were coming or going. And when City did play the press and when they did sort of try and grow from the back, Foden and Alvarez were in behind that midfield line that was trying to press. So just an incredible controlled performance. They get the goal from Foden. Foden, man of the match, not a problem at all. Yeah, um, it, it, Rob probably will too, feel right. bad for not scoring another goal or not yeah. having enough opportunities. But like you said, the Newcastle defense was very good. Holland had several chances half chances where it had had things gone better he might have had a better shot a better chance um but just a really really good strong performance about as controlling a one nil as you can find yeah i don't think that newcastle really did much offensively that they can no, write home about and that can be because because of city's defending because of city's control because of city's constant levels of attack you know newcastle only had one shot on target Really, the expected goals game is going to be really low. 60-40 uh, possession, I think that's about right. Just didn't didn't create enough. Uh, I think that's yeah, one of the problems that Newcastle had last season. If they can't, they still are missing a lock picker. Yeah, the, ultimately, uh, what I've been thinking is, you know, I've been saying it all along, is that they need a they need a they need a start. They need a name that the opposition is going to be keeping their eyes on. You know what I mean? And also somebody yeah. that will control the pace of the game, that will control the midfield, that will control the creation of of, of situations in the match. Uh, and I know that Tonali yeah. is going to be there. I think some, I think he is uh, uh, somebody that's needed for the team, a really good tool that can defend, that can run, that can help, that can create sometimes, but he's not a creator per se. So they yeah, need look somebody. At, look that, at Pep's that really trying to get this, this yeah. crowd fired up. Yeah, he's just yes. like and trying out, so hard to, to make – Shout out to Pep, you know, applauding the Newcastle fans as well. You know, stand-up guy, and obviously he's trying to get his his fans involved. But it's always good that you you don't always see that in football. You always you know always uh, one side is trying to bash the other and don't respect the other. You know, no, Pep Pep has so, a lot of respect for the opposition. Yeah. Almost to almost it's almost at this point a parody. He always yeah. talks about how good other teams are. Always yes, yes, like yes. almost to the point you're just like, well, do you like your team? Yeah. <laughs> But, but now some uh, some, uh, some final thoughts again. Just Newcastle need to do some some changes and and basically just right now they have what they got. They have a few days to get something done. Uh, I don't know if they will. Surely they have the money now on the Manchester City side. They to me, you know, they're pretty well. Here, here's uh, my final thought: the best team in the league are still Brighton and Hove Albion. Scored eight <laughs> goals, only two against. Uh, yeah. City have not given up a goal in their two games. So One it's going to be Brighton and City all the way to the end. <laughs> Those are your two teams. Well, we'll see. I'm, as far as right now, I'm on the Newcastle train, and I'm going to ride it all the way to the end. We can still finish top four. Uh, you know, it's, it's a learning curve. <laughs> learning curve for this match. Yeah, it's only two games in. There's so uh, much more football that to is play. Right. You know, uh, usually okay. the, 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 festive, the festive period is where you separate things out when you have all those yeah. games in, in like, two-week period. You pay, like, five games, and you, you, you figure out where your team is. 
But anyways, that is it for this stream. That is it for this video. Please consider subscribing. Hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. That helps us a lot. And uh, thank you so much for all, in my, from my side, to all the, the, the new Castle fans. That to an army. Actually, over 300 <laughs> new Castle fans in just one week. So we're going to keep you guys happy. Of course, we're going to still talk about the Premier League, which is what we're uh -huh. here for. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. All right, brother. Thank you.